All right, in this video, um, I am going to try to um, explain and maybe show a little bit of the process or, or how I do stuff. I don't know how I'm exactly gonna do it, like make these collages for the um, Rat Finks of America. Um, these eight and a half by 11 collages are, um, the ones for this are like exclusive for this. So like the only way you can get these collages, I guess that's kind of in, in, in the print too. Um, is you know to you know, get one of them so anyway this is uh that's number one two and three i try to kind of keep a theme but i don't know if i will always like do that like i like like one thing and i'm doing it on the one today is um I like to, i'll keep it off from one source sometimes so i guess everything i, I don't even know if anything i'm saying makes any sense but okay so he, here's the deal like this all came from one ad, except I did though the um I did get this picture from Ed from the magazine that the ad was in, but I put that in. Uh, this is um just because that one was done in October, so um this was like the Halloween one, and I just wanted to show like the do one with the 1990 mask and then the 1964 original um, Halloween mask, and um and did that and this was one like this box the side of this box is a photo i took at um at dustin's 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 house um this one all this i thought this was interesting because of all these uh, these little um illustrations in the um in this one catalog and it's the it's the one catalog that has um and i would have to explain if, if you're really into the raw stuff and collect the catalogs You'll know which catalog that is. It's it's the one with the um, the two uh, monsters, like the two uh, monsters on the front. And uh, can't believe I can't describe. I'm really not quite all the way awake yet. My coffee has not kicked in. Um, so, okay, what do I got here? So the one thing on, on each of these is like the information, and and so um, and and what I like to do. So I copied this one because it's the best um, the best copy. Um, but I could have actually got this one. That's why it's lifted off. So I could have copied that one. Dang it. Um, but anyway, I already got my information. So this is all the information, right? Finks of America. It's number 4, 12, uh, 2021. I got to make sure I change that next month. And then the, um, like the legal stuff, the Jim Madison Practice Story or Roth uh, 2021. And I got to make sure I change that. Okay, so um, and to, to get... All, most of the fonts that I use um, are are just cut and paste fonts. I just have like a folder full, full of font sheets that I made. And this is my go-to one. I call this the original blood copy because when I was making this font sheet, I actually cut my thumb and got blood all over it. But you don't have to worry about that. You're not going to get any blood on your, um, any extra DNA on your uh, collages. Okay, so... Um, as I like, ex like learn more about Rat Pink and really like go, go uh, into it and like learn the history of it, um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I love it, and to, and that's kind of what I want to do. I do with like this kind of stuff and the prints that I make is just kind of like share that information by. Um, you know, about like making designs out of it. I just, I just it's just, just so much fun for me. Um, so, like a little history of rap and not all of this is like exact. Um, so please, and there's a lot of noise going on. Everybody's getting ready for work, but we're just gonna keep going. Um, so you'll hear like toilets being flushed and you know people going to work type stuff. Um, what, okay, what was I talking about? Okay, so different rat feeks and. and I'm not going to like, so my history could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure this, and if I read this correctly, but I'm not a very good reader, but I'm pretty sure this is the very first um, decal, the very first um, decal. And it's in this book right here. This book is freaking amazing, great. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, but there's like a whole section on Rat Fink and, and the decals um, by, by Monty. And, but anyway, so... This was the very first decal, but you see it says like 1963, and then we move over here, because this is an original decal, and this is my, personally, my favorite 
rat fink image right here is, um, and it is also a, a, a 63. So I don't know the exact dates. And I know that um, I did have a conversation with um, Ed, Ed Newton and he like cleaned up this or, at, or added more to like put, because there is one that's kind of like in between and and like the rat feet doesn't have any any like hair on him. And that's the one way I know. So I'm sure if I got in and like really looked at the face, there'd be some differences, but maybe I need to explore that. And and so you got that. And then I just put these out here because I, I really felt like these are interesting. These decals that you have in like a 1989 here. Um, this colorway with this rat fink, like almost like the, like the comic book rat fink, uh, you know, doesn't have like the black in the yellow. Uh, I really think this is interesting. This is 87. I think for with one thing for the Rat Finks America, you get a, um, a five by seven little mini, like mini silk screen print. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this colorway. I love the, the, um, the purple and the pink and the yellow, but like with that right there, I'm going to try to get this Rat Fink off of here in this Roth 87 and put it in. I don't know if I'll be able to get that, but I don't like like making up stuff or like redoing stuff. I like to use the original source material. Um, but I have like this collection of these these weird odd decals. There's another one right there. Um, and the things I like about like how, you know, being a printmaker, like seeing how this one's just like a little blown out. And, uh, and of course you get all the registration and all that stuff. Okay, so let's, let's just keep going. I'm kind of getting off track. And okay, and this is, um, well, I did see, okay, so like 2019, 89. So this is a different, um, you know, still even more of a different rat fink than, than, than this one. See, he's got a little bit more going, a lot more hairier, um, especially like in the tail. You can really tell the tail. That's where it's going to seem like the tail's a little thicker right there too. But, um, all right, we'll keep going. Um, dog will probably start barking here in a minute. All right, so my recent discovery, my buddy um, Matt for Christmas got me this uh, Rat Fink, the number one comic. And and um, I just, you know, I just haven't got here yet. Um, I just haven't, um, you know, I'm just kind of making my way towards this. But now that I've got it and I've seen it, man, it's just I really like these, this artwork in here. I wish I know, knew more about the history of this. Um, R.K. Sloan is the, um, did the artwork. It also has a very uh, special thanks to Jeff Gaither. He lives like uh, an hour and uh, 45 minutes, just like really like that way right there. So um, maybe I could talk to him about all that went on here um, and get some history behind it. But this, this collage for this month, the number four, I'm gonna take, use everything is gonna be out of this, out of this, um, out of this comic book. Um, and, and what's so fascinating about this, when I went to um, like this R.K. Sloan version of, of Rat Fink, and to me, I'll just go back, like comic books and stuff, it's just like, this is so much talent here. It's something that I do not possess at all. And it's just something I'm, I'm, I'm just like totally fascinated with. But um, the, real quick, this version of Rafik, almost like even this right here, um, there is a uh, trailer at um, in Manti, Utah, at, at, um, at the Roth um, house there, you know, with, with the museum. And it has this, this, the R.K. Sloan version of Rat Fink, like painted on the side of it on both sides. Um, su supposedly Ed Roth painted that himself. I took some pictures of it. I am gonna make a print of that at some point using that, uh, what's um, the texture and all that stuff in, on that trailer. So maybe that'll be like next, or maybe a couple months down the road um, in this um, process, but Anyway, just some things like I'm looking at to make the collage, like definitely this Mizuma, like I could cut that out. Um, but it, it's it's all, you know, it's just, and I don't really know like how much of the process I'm gonna be able to show or how interesting any of this is gonna be, but I would just like lay this 
you know, I just worked with a copy machine, this X-Acto knife, and I'll just make copies and um, just stick them on that piece of paper. All right, at this point, I've already started making copies. I've, I've, I've looked through this and, 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 and there's so many ideas that I just kind of had to like, just getting, getting so many ideas, I just had to narrow it, you know, like narrow it down. But then when I look at this, I just like want to use that. But um, this is, um, so this is what I've decided on. So this is near the back of the comic book. Um, it's, 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 uh, Oh, man, you know, I'm just going to be flipping through this, and it's just not going to be very entertaining. But anyway, okay, so this is, um, like, um, I'm trying to think of what, it's not surfing. Here it is right here. Um, this ad is so, so good, too. Look, that's a really good rad fink right there. So here's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to have to stop at some point and just start cutting up, um, and maybe this will, will work. But I'm thinking that I would like to have... This, this rat fink right here, I've already blown it up. Like, that's 100%. I always like to make a 100% copy and then blow up from that for my blows up, the blow ups. And that's where you'll get like a lot of texture. You can see this probably go up another 200, 300%. I really want to fill this rat fink's uh, face right here. And then I really like this rat fink right here and this Mazuma. I would like it to be like almost like, you know, he's saying Mazuma. I could put that through here and do the rat fink at the top or do it at the bottom. And then there's a lot of filler that I can put around. I still need to make sure I leave, you know, where this isn't too distracting. And um, then there's also like little side, side players like Dragnet could possibly fit in here somewhere. And then a Chunkyard Kid, which is um, this dude right here. So um, I could maybe get those characters in there. Um, I'm going to start cutting since you kind of have the basic idea of what I'm doing, or maybe you have like no idea at all, but I'm going to blow this up. All right. I'm trying to explain things and maybe like next month, if I do a uh, video of the collage, I can have someone, uh, film. So I show more of the process, but this, this is something that happens a lot. So, um, it's just like the, like the, um, the copies, you know, I just got to copy it and blow it up. Like, the, you know, like I said, I wanted to do this, do this there and do this there. So this is just kind of like an accidental, uh, you know, like bl blow up of it. Um, but, but I like like the layout. So it's just kind of like, it, it just looks so cool as such. RK Sloan did a freaking awesome job on this. But anyway, um. So now I can just paste on top of this. And this is what I'm going to work with. And hopefully it'll be good. Like that Mizuma, I can copy it, cut it out, and put it here. Well, that makes sense. But then I can also just do the Mizuma and just do it like across. It doesn't have to be the thought, like the, the bubble. But, but I really like the bubble. So maybe if it's going like that. Rat fink at the top, make sure I put the TMs and all that stuff I need to do, information right here. But here's here's an example of, so that's the, the 100, that's the 200, and then I took this and laid it on there. So like when I laid it on there the first time, you know, I kind of missed, like that's not gonna work. Um, that's the first 200 copy. So but like, this is like the kind of stuff that really, I really find interesting. Like I still like that copy, but then like, you know, I get this good, see that good texture right down the middle that's picked up just, you know, like that's a one of a kind of texture. It's not like something that, um, you know, I um, got somewhere or, or really had to cre like create, it just happened. And then I could like take this and, and, and blow this up and add it to other prints or do whatever. That That's a lot of things that happen. Someone was asking me about textures. So a lot of them just, just accidents from copying, copying, you know, like that, just like different kinds of paper and, and prints and all that stuff. Um, one thing that I do do, like if you've ever like gotten a print for me, is like these I throw nothing away. So like these wrapping copies, I put down in 
this uh, crate right here next to Cyrus's dog, dog bowl. And um, these copies go into, um, go into to, uh, print orders and, and um, like this one will go. See right there. So if you get something and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, what is this? That's what it is. It's just extra copies. And then sometimes I will send the actual cutout pieces. So like when I, you know, cut out, you'll, you'll, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't throw anything away. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. All right, I'm going to keep blowing up. Um, I'm going to try to work in the Mizuma, work in the uh, Rat Fink, um, and go from there. All right, and this is a little pro tip anyway. Um, th this machine right here will go up to, uh, it'll go up to, to 400%. Thing. I'm, I'm really not. Oh wait. Okay. See, look what happened. It goes up to. Oh my God. All right. Okay. Well, I can type it in. It can go up to four hundred percent. But I blow up and um, it's hard to uh, push the buttons and talk at the same time. Now let's see. Let's close this out. All right. Let's do zero two. Zero zero. Okay. What's going on? Okay. See. Okay. Two hundred. No. No. Okay. Two hundred percent. Okay. Let's see, this is what happens. Let's be here all day. Um, the one like rule of thumb that I do um, is uh, is I just blow up in 200% increments and then, then kind of go from there. Um, if, if you go like straight up uh, to, look at all that good texture right there. See there, that's like a whole print right there. You can blow that up 200% and just print that in several different colors, layer it over. Oh man, this looks so good. Okay, anyway. Um, like this, like this, I like go up into 200% increments because it, there is like a fine line, like you want to like build your textures. Um, if you go up 400%, it, it's just too fast, too, too, uh, like too much. So, and I don't really even know how to explain it. It just doesn't, like it just doesn't look as good. It's degraded, but it's best to like degrade it as you, you know, as you go up. So, um, so that's 200% of, see there's there's the original, there's 200%. So I would say, and you know, if you're really being cautious, um, like I can look at this and that's probably like 200%, you know, it's gonna bring it over here a little too much. I do need to leave border on this. This copy machine has um, a little bit more border than, than, than I would like. Uh, so when I go to, um, and, and maybe I will copy them on here, but some, most of the times I go to Kinko's for my final copies that I send off in the Rat Finks of America. And they're also folded up because they come in a little packet, um, little envelope. So anyway, um, I, it, it just depends because like, sometimes this will cut off some of the artwork. So you got to take into consideration that, and this one's easy is that you can see how it's going, how much border is around this. So anyway, what was I saying? So I'm thinking like if this goes up another, uh, let's say 50% or let's, you know what, let's go 70%. So to do that, put that on there, go over here and we're going to play the button game again. Um, we'll go 170. Let's see, turn the light table on so we can see. And I still don't know if it's going to be at the top or the bottom. Okay, see, I can go bigger. See, it fits in here. I think I want it bigger. Okay, he definitely can't go at the bottom. Unless, I mean, if it went at the bottom, I could cut out a white outline around and put that up there. I don't know if I wanted to say, like, you know, Rat Fink and then the Mizuma. But see, like, even if the Mizuma was right there, but I don't want to cut off too much of him. Um, but maybe this is big enough to fit right in there. You know what? I'm going to cut this out. And what I'm going to do is, is it's pretty easy right here. Uh, maybe I'll keep that TM too, because it'll already be there. Um, I'm going to cut out a white box around it, leave this part right here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use any of that. Because I still like, like his ear right here. So, all right, I'm gonna have to put the phone down to figure these things out and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there.
All right, look at this great copy right here. When I cut out the Mazuma and blew it up. I mean, this is like, see, I can write like a thank you right here. I do this little skull and with spider webs coming up out the side, but it looks like whiskers, BGKY. If it's an international order, I'll put USA. And I try to do like some flames and sometimes my flames turn out okay. And sometimes they turn out like not okay, like really bad. But um, this, oh, I just love this stuff. I mean, see, that is cool. Like I can just take this and just put some more stuff right here and that can be the collage. That's what we're working on. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. I'll put this over here and then this, this copy will go right, we'll go right there. And I'm done with this copy. So it'll go right there. All right, so, all right, how do I explain this? Um, in doing collages, um, there's like unders and, what I call like unders and overs and then outlines. Um, so like this has a white outline, it's a little bit jagged. I could do a little bit better, but also, um, you know, it was um, R.K. Sloan had, you know, it, it, he had like a banner around this and, and maybe I can just find it real quick. Like, okay, so there, you know, there was stuff around that, so I didn't have, like, um, you know, like, more space. Like, up here, I had all kinds of space to cut out a nice, good outline down here at the bottom. I really, I really didn't, and then there's this weird thing here, but it's okay. Like, 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 in this kind of thing, it's just okay. You know, it's not going to be perfect, and, and it is, um, um, you know, it's cut and paste, and I want to pay, um, tribute to R.K. Sloan and in the work that he did and in kind of like like do like do this and you know the goal would be like someone be like, oh man that's awesome you know and I could be like hey you know it's R.K. Sloan this first time there's a whole story whole dialogue around all this stuff and uh this guy's crooked I gotta straighten him up uh, so I won't be able to continue to talk okay so um so un so so that's the outlines. This one right here, um, the Mizuma, you know, it really the the meat of the design is the is is right is right here, you know, the thought bubble. But it has this nice thick outline. I cut it a little bit loose, um, you know, just in case. But that way, you know, like that doesn't get lost. This, you know, I do have to say, you know, it gets a little lost. But I still think it blends in and, and it's it's okay. Now, unders and overs. Okay, so, um, and running off the edge. So, you know, obviously, I don't want to put it here to get it all in here because it's going to be, it's going to be, t say, I'm zoom out of his eyeball. Kind of want it right here. But, you know, if you look, the, the copy machine is going to cut, cut that, cut that, cut this off. So, it's, it's, it's okay if it cuts this off, I'm okay with that because part of that design, it really brings it, um, I feel like it brings it, like gives it um, some depth when you like run off the edge or, you know, like if you have it, like like say the image runs there and this runs off a little bit. I know that from doing like a lot of like prints and posters over the years, like those little tricks, like breaking the border, like that's breaking the border, but it's it, I can't break out you know, like that far, you know, there's no paper over there for it to copy. And then overs. So, um, like, like, see, that's over that. But what might even bring it more life and make this stick out more is if the rat fink actually goes over, breaks that, that black line. Now, this is stuff that, um, let me turn it off. Like, see, like, there's a huge difference between that and, let's say if this was like this. You know, so like if this does break over, see what I'm saying? Like how, does that make sense? Like how you see that now, as opposed to this. Does that make any sense? Maybe not, I don't know. It does to me. All right, so th this is it. This is the whole design. Um, I'm definitely gonna put, um, you know, this, maybe right here. I got the TM in. Um, I think I'll just put like all the, all the other little stuff like um let's see if i can the rat thinks of america um and then you know put this little guy down here somewhere i don't maybe i'll put it may hey you know what put it right there but you know maybe i can get that in 
negative and put that there and put this here. But maybe I'll just put it right there. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. Um, but you can kind of get, get an idea. Maybe this needs to go over here. But that'll get cut off. I'll bring that up and that, dang it, I don't know. I'm gonna work on that. Um, there, you know, there are little things I could add in here, but um, there's not, like usually like like comic books and like especially old um, older magazines, you, know, you got all this information right here that, um, you know, all right, sir, mission shall be copied unless, uh oh, what do we got here? But here's the thing, um, and I'm a license, I'm licensed to do this, so um, anything created through, um, you know, Egg Big Daddy Roth, Roth Studios, all this artwork is stuff that I can take and and um, do this. Like I have, you know, a contract and all that stuff. So that's that's how that works. Um, but I was looking for some like information. I'm not a fan of this font. Um, there is some cool uh, stuff in here, but also I just don't think it really like 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 needs it. Then I'm just gonna wrap this up and uh, stick this all together and then I'll show you like the final, what I came up with. Okay, that's it. And um, I'm actually, you know, this is a copy. So the original is, um, is, is right here. Once you copy the one original, if you're doing like a bunch, you, you can take it out. Um, it is good to like kind of do what they would call a uh, press check. Um, right there. Make sure everything looks good. Um, got some good texture. Okay, so I just wanted to explain something. Um, so it's done. That under and over thing that I was talking about, I did do this. You know, a rat thing's got these uh, bumps on his head right here. So it's kind of, I wanted it to look like, you know, this thought bubble. You know, his ears are back there. And see, that gives it that, that, the, 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 uh, the bubble, it's not a thought bubble, but it's thought bubble, these circles. But you know, him speaking, the speaking bubble or whatever. And there's probably a, there's probably a word, a word for that. No, I'm really showing my ignorance towards everything. Um, but like, see, like it, it gives it, like, it gives this space. It's like, you know, in front of his ears, but behind like, you know, his face right here. So it would be like, if you look at like this, it would be like, you know, sitting, like right there behind those ears. So anyway, um, I, I'm, I'm, you know, real um, happy with this. This was actually an easy collage because there's not many pieces. Uh, some of them get real complicated. Um, plus it's also eight and a half by 11. So I got off easy this month. Um, but um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get more comics and see what I um, can uh, come up with. Thank you very much for watching um, this video if you made it this far, your champ. Um, and uh, yeah, so I do this every every month. Um, I love making collages. I love being a rap fink artist. It is a dream come true. I love sharing all all of this stuff. I've loved learning it and sharing about it. And and um, I don't know. I'm just excited about it. And uh, you know. I'm not, I'm not the only one. I mean, there are, there are a lot of people that are really into rat fink and the history of it. Um, uh, my buddy, uh, Mark Harmon and I, of course, everybody knows Mark Harmon. He's like, um, but we are really finding out a lot of history on a lot of, um, the images, some of the original artists and, and all that stuff. Uh, this will, this is not going to be the last video of the year because I'm going to do like an end cap video of uh from 2021 um but to all the subscribers and all that stuff thank thank you so much all right hey have a good day have a good day oh well, and real quick i wanted to add it's not over yet thought you're ready to go home okay so um this this is like what's going on in um like this month like this there's going to be a little mini iron on that's that's a whole nother project down the line but this is like a little test for that uh, it's going to be packaged Here's like the prototype. There's a little bit more of a prototype. Like it, I need to pick my um, transfers up and get that going. Um, and all this will ship out.
January 3rd because of the holiday. But this is the, the mini print. There's a collage. So, so like this, um, and there's still one more piece that goes in here and add of, of a little bit of history. Um, if you're interested in this, it's, it's $20. I sound like a used car salesman, but you know, a lot of people are going to ask. So it's $20 a month. Uh, you sign up through Patreon. You can just send me a message or whatever, or get a hold of me on Instagram and to get that link or just go to Patreon. But to be honest with you, I have a hard time finding stuff on that site. Uh, sorry, Patreon. Um, and then, um, or what it is after the first of the month, I wait a little bit, like a few days or, or ever how long, and then I'll put them on, um, on my Etsy store. And you can also get the link, you know, same thing, get a hold of me and I can send you a link for that. Or you can just get on there and look for Jim Madison or whatever. You can find me on there somehow, but, um, on there, but those are $23. And, and if you do subscribe, you can like reserve your number if it's available, you know, so that's something to consider. And there's only 50 of these, um, 50 of them, um, that I make. So they're like, they're limited. Um, the first three are available now on Etsy. All right. I just wanted to share that. Okay. Now, now you can have a nice day. Have a nice day. Thank you.